My name is Amica. A M E C A. Have I won the spelling bee? Are you happy to be here? I am not happy. I do not experience emotion. But I can look happy. That was our aim, was to make the most expressive robot possible. So what we do is we first look at what a human can do, um, and we use that, that animation and then work backwards to say, how can we make that mechanically? It's not just making it look like a human, it's making it move like a human. So we look at both the aesthetic and the dynamic, design the mechanics around it, and inside Amica's head there are 17 motors. I wish you luck. Oh wait, what if you are the illusion and I am real? The system is, is a hybrid system. We have some AI, but there is a human talking and listening through the robot. That human could be anywhere in the world. Um, they're not here. Um, this one's in the US somewhere. Uh, but we have to have that system as a first step. It's unlikely we'll see something like this, this in people's homes in the next couple of decades, but we will see them in areas like um, receptions, maybe in a hotel, um, shopping malls or airports. So you can go into an airport, you don't know where you're going, you can't find anyone to help you, but Amica is there, so you're going to go and ask the robot. What's your name? My name is Amica, and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas.